Things actually pointing in my face. It's probably not. There we go. Now I know it is. Um, this is a bit of an interesting one. I've been working on an island. Now, you might recognize this area. This area is the area that I did the boat. Sorry about my bad filming. I'm not on my usual, and my camera tripod hates me, right, even, yeah, so I got some tools here, let's get to the island. Oh, and yes, I am on a block of phone. I'll see you when I get there. Say hello to the island. It's not very much currently, but when these weren't completely flooding the area, right, right there, there was like a nice little open sandy patch. I don't know if it's even there anymore, but I can't see. My goal is to get over there to the water. There's water right over there. Over there, back to that sandy patch. Because I have been on this island before. There wasn't this nice open spot that I've cleared out with the mass amounts of tools that I brought. Don't judge. It's a block of foam. It's what I've been using to get here while I'm doing stuff with the boat. Which, by the way, is coming very soon. So, like, part six is very close. Um... I don't think you're going to see the boat ever in here again, because the boat's a bit too big for this area, and it's really shallow right now. You might, but it's just too much of a hassle to get it up and down, so if I ever wanted to move the boat, it's it's not... Eh. With, the, with the new paint going on, it, hopefully tomorrow, uh, it won't exactly be easy, but we got the boat anchor. Which I got a new anchor. Actually, I've had the anchor for a few years. But yeah, um, the praying mantis infested stuff has to go. I'll come back with you when I've made progress. Okay, so I did just find something pretty excited. So I was raking up all of this when I found this. This isn't what you see all around me right now. This is uh, something that you might see later on in the video. Maybe. But they're a lot nicer than all of this. So I'm going to keep this. It's going to go right there for now. But that should actually spread a lot. kind of like this stuff, but... Not as much. Okay. Progress continued. So I decided to finish up today. Um, I didn't record what I did, but I did explore a little bit more that way. That way. I'm horrible. Also, blue jay feather. Very pretty. Can't keep them. They're real. They're protected species. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys an update on the boat and its new location, because it's no longer where it was. It's been completely sanded down, so hopefully tomorrow or another day we're going to get it painted. So it's going to become a nice baby blue, real light, 
We're mixing some dark tractor blue with some white, hopefully to get that perfect color. And it's gonna look real smooth and nice. And we're gonna do some more fiberglassing on it. It's gonna get its fiberglass coats. And then we're gonna flip it and then do the inside, just like that. So, uh, let's get to that. Okay, so it was over there in Mavericks Field, and now it's over here, right there. It's all nice and clean. So I need to put that rake over there. Smooth, shiny, and beautiful. But it's gonna become this nice light blue. Maybe a little bit lighter, just because this one's been worn in the sun. So, yep, it's going to get the new back handles, because there were some aluminum old ones on the back, and they rusted off. There's, we're going to get a new one in the front, we're going to get some nice boat rim for this, we're going to fiberglass any holes, and then, I'm not flipping it because it's heavy, the bottom of it needs a whole bunch of fiberglassing, or the, the, the top, which is currently the bottom. Yeah. And I guess I can update you guys on my pond. But I got a bike up all the way, so I'll uh, see you then. Also, this is the anchor, by the way. That's the anchor. It is very, very old. Uh, found it in some salt water. Scalloping. Like, two or three years ago. But, it's out of the water now, and it's gonna be my new boat anchor. Let's get to it. Okay, so it doesn't look the best right now, but that's also just because I just moved it and it's got a little leak. A little leak. With my profan chase on that. Because. So I do have to keep filling it up. But it came into some cow trouble, so it doesn't look the best. But. It typically does. That's my snake pen, if you didn't notice. They're both in shed phase, so I'm not gonna bother them. Uh, yep. Yeah. It, uh, it's doing good. I do need to fill it up, and also, tag the legs. What all of the little spots are, if my phone would focus. There we go. Bunch of tadpole legs. Oh, there you go. You can see them really good if I do that. As soon as I brighten it up, though. Oh, you can see them a lot better. Oh, look, there's a little minnow. See the minnows better in the dark? Yeah, little minnows coming to check out and see what's going on. You can see them down there in the bottom, too. Okay, well, I guess that's going to conclude this video. Uh, it was good. Also, bullfrog. Oh, no, he jumped in. There's a bigger bullfrog over there, but there's bullfrogs everywhere in here. And if you're lucky, there's also a black racer that lives underneath it, so. Let's do a quick close-up on my uh, snake pen. And green roof on the top. Uh, there's my snake pen. It's got water. Uh, the leaves. I do have a giant snail in here who eats this poor plant to life. Let's see if we can find him. I don't remember what species name he is, but he's big. In the back in the back? No. I don't know where he is. He's in here. He's probably hiding, but he's like, yo, big. Yeah, 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 that looks about right. Oh, the snake shed. Yep, the snake just shed, so that's good to know. I was not here earlier, so I do need to grab that. And, uh, I'll show you guys that when I get it out. Sorry. <laughs> just pulled out the hidey. 
and it looks like he just finished shedding it. See that? And then he's going up. He is one of my few corn snakes. And I say few, I only have two. I have him and the girl, who's also in shed face. She's probably not happy that I'm moving everything around. But, let's get it out. Hey, buddy. I'll take you out so they can see how pretty you are. But, oh yeah, that is really fresh. Which means it's most breakable here now. Depending on the way you treat it. Oh wow, that's like speared through it. How is that? How is that possible? Okay, hold on. I gotta set you guys down real quick. Oh, okay, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's about right. Now, it came in and whole. I am going to leave it out for a day so it can dry. Because right now it's very, very flimsy. I'm going to see if I can uh, kind of peel this back so I can get a real nice one. I have hundreds of these. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, you're time for a meal, aren't you? It's time for a meal, isn't it? Oh, I know you want back in your pen. You're the wiggly one. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. But you're so pretty. Look at that. And look at him. He's going to go right back in his pen. Like a good snake. He is a, like a bright red orange, and mine is a dark red. So, yeah. He'll grow up to look a lot like Lucky, because he'll lighten up. And Lucky is a very light, light orange. Ow. Things prick. Now my girl will give you a quick look, but she definitely is in shed phase. See that? She's really dark compared to him. She's especially dark right now. Oh, baby. Curl back up in your weeds. Oh, I know. I know. I'm a bully for taking you out. Okay. That's her back in her ID. I gotta set this thing back in there. Right like that, sits like that, and then I'm gonna fluff that up so they can a little uh, comfortable little bowl. And then I'll sort out this, set it on a drying rack, and then uh, that's that. I'm going to I'm going to uh, end this video here. It's a nice one. Uh, I definitely could have done more. Seems this is gonna be like a 15 minute video. Uh, of pretty much nothing, but got the snake, the snake shed. You hear the frogs croaking in the background. Uh, yeah. See you later. Bye.